HTML is a formatting language. That's the main thing you need to get about HTML, is that it's a way of formatting a document. So imagine that you sit down at a computer and on the desktop there is one file, just one icon, and it says hello.doc. What can you know about this file just by reading that? Well, the first part, hello, is the file name, and that tells you that whoever named it, named it hello. The second part, dot .doc, after the dot, is the extension, the file name extension, and this tells you usually how the file is formatted. What is it that it was formatted in? What language, what type of formatting program used to format it? So dot .doc, you know right away this is a Microsoft Word formatted document. It's a document that when you open it in Microsoft Word, Word will know how to interpret the code to display the formatting correctly. So if you sat down and it was hello.pdf, it could be the exact same content. It could be that hello.doc, when you open it up, it just says hello. And if you sit down and you see a PDF document, you know that it's going to be opened by Adobe Acrobat Reader. It's going to be formatted in the Adobe Acrobat format. And when you open up, it could say the exact same thing. It could say hello, but it would be something that would need to be opened by the Adobe program, not by Microsoft, because it's formatted differently. Likewise, you couldn't try and open the .doc in the Adobe program because it's not the same formatting, even though it could have the exact same content. So this is what HTML is. It's just another way of formatting a file at its basis. If you sit down and you see a file named hello.html on the desktop, you know that this is an HTML formatted document, and it's going to be opened up with something that can read HTML. And it could, again, just say hello, same exact content, but what's important is that it's formatted in HTML. Now, HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language. Hypertext because it's beyond just regular text. It's not like text in a book. It's, it's not linear. It's, it's more dynamic. It's interactive. It has images. It has links. It's kind of choose-your-own-adventure text. It's beyond text. And Hypertext Markup Language. Markup Language stands means that it's a language that marks up the content. It marks it up in a common way that all these different types of HTML readers can understand what that content is. So you have uh, phones, different browsers, screen readers, um, you, you have spiders, search engine spiders. All these different programs all can operate the same file because they all know HTML and it's agreed upon interoperable formatting link formatted language formatted document so if you if you sit down and you try and open it up you don't actually have one particular program that's tied to it because it's an open standard it follows a standard and it's coded in a way that they can all agree on across all these different devices